Hello everyone, welcome to IPT Plus Academy for Civil Services. It's a video on daily news and editorial analysis, which I'll be covering from the Hindu and Indian Express. The most important news and editorial of the day that is relevant for both prelims and mains examination perspective will be discussed in this session. Let's get started with the news topic list. Today is 3rd of November. The first important news that is India has launched the ballistic missile defense interceptor. We'll see the detail about this. Second, center doubles fertilizer subsidy to aid farmer and to overcome the price hike challenges that we are seeing in India because of the Russian-Ukraine war. Third, India-UK free trade agreement will tighten the rule on generic drug. This is a report, a leaked report, which we'll discuss in detail. Second last, Curious College shows rhino horse are shrinking. And the last is an editorial, don't turn back the clock. Apart from the news and editorial discussion, at the end of this video, there will be MCQ based questions. These questions will be based on current affairs that will help you for the upcoming prelims examination. So without any further delay, let's get started. And before I begin this session, those of you who are new to our channel, do not forget to subscribe Apti Plus Academy for Civil Services on YouTube. If you like this video, if you find this video informative and helpful, do press a like button. Starting the session with the first news that is India successfully test ballistic missile defense interceptor. Something important for general studies paper 3 that is achievement of India in science and technology, Indianization of technology and development of new technology. So recently the DRDO that is Defense Research and Development Organization has successfully conducted the maiden flight test of the phase 2 ballistic missile defense system interceptor AD1. This is something very important for the prelims examination and even you can expect our question in the mains as well, right? So you should be thorough with the ballistic missiles defense system in India and how it has augmented with the overall function. The flight test was conducted from APJ Abdul Kalam Island off coast in Odisha. Sometimes for many other competitive examination, the launch site become very important. Now about AD-1 missile interceptor, AD-1 is a long range interceptor missile designed for both low and exmo atmosphere and even for endo atmospheres and it has a long ballistic missiles and aircraft. So this was the official image that was released by the DRDO. You can see the missile AD-1 adapters here. The propelled by two state solid motor and equipped with indigenously developed advanced control system, navigation and guideline algorithm and even precisely guided the vehicle to target. If you talk about AD-1, it has a unique type of interceptor with advanced technology that is available in very few nations in the world. Now, talking about India's BMD program, Kestras India ki BMD program, jo ballistic missile defense system hai, wo program kab actual mein start hui thi? This was actually started after the Kargil war in 1999, right? So this is the genesis and the history of ballistic missile defense system and it was launched with Pakistan expanding the missile arsenal in mind. So government of India ki koshish thi ki jo Pakistan ki expansion ho rahi hai missile ko le karke usse kaise counter kiya ja sake to counter that the government of India has come up with ballistic missile defense system. Now the phase one of the program is said to have been completed towards the end of 2020 consist of the advanced air defense system and air defense system based on Prithvi missile. So Prithvi missile is also a game changer for India's defense system which has a state of art technology in terms of improving the overall capabilities for the defense forces. The second phase, the, the, the second phase start ki gai, that is according to the sources focuses on the development of anti-ballistic defense system that is like US mein jis tarah se high altitude areas mein defense system banai gai, usko us tarah se koshish ki gai that India, how India can also come up with such kind of technology that we can neutralize the intermediate range ballistic missiles. Now the goal of the India's ballistic missile defense program is to provide air defense shield against all kind of holistic missile including the nuclear one and all of the assets which were developed by India's foremost defense research organization that is DRDO are currently in used by the Indian Air Force. So mostly jitni bhi is tarah ke missile system hai wo India mein Indian Air Force abhi currently use kar Moving to the other news, center doubles fertilizer subsidy, something important for general studies paper 2, that is the government policies and intervention for the development of various sectors and issues arising from it design and implementations. Now consider the 
huge increase of the prices of the fertilizers globally because of the Russian Ukraine war central government ne decide kiya hai ki wo fertilizers ki jo subsidy hai usko double karenge right this is what the government has decided and this can be the game changer for a lot more farmer and this subsidy is given for rabi season the union cabinet has approved a total outlay of 51875 crore rupees for nitrogen phosphorus and potash and sulfur for the phosphatic and potassium fertilizer on ongoing rabi season so this will definitely help farmer it will provide a cushion to farmer which has already they have already paying a lot more amount for buying a fertilizers <clears throat> now budget estimations ki baat kare as per the ministry of chemical and fertilizer the budget estimation is 21000 crore rupees for the new trend based subsidy and amount has been doubled right so you need to take a note of this this figure might be relevant for the mains examination and the center has revised the subsidy keeping the increasing market price in mind and this is the highest subsidy so far now reason for fertilizers price hike ki agar baat kare the commercial price of the fertilizer has doubled due to the ukraine russia conflict and the logistic issues uh, basically even due to pandemic and that has threatened the center to double the subsidy component so ye jo agar baat kare dual effect hui hai the first effect that is the reason first is russia and ukraine war and other is due to the pandemic lockdown there was a lot more problem that the farmer has the government ke kya measures hai is regard mein iske alawa the center has taken measures to increase the productions of urea in india so india mein kaise se urea ke productions ko badhaye jaye us pe khasa dhyan hai government ke they are also working on the new methodology and parts of thing that the production of urea can be increased while the requirement was 350 kg 350 lakh kg ton right and even productions for the country was 250 lakh ton so this is how uh, basically the mismatch is there hamari zaruratein jo hain wo 350 lakh ton ki but india mein jo currently productions hai wo sirf aur sirf 250 lakh ton ki almost there is a gap and there is a lack of 100 lakh ton right now four new plants were coming up uh, like a nano urea which will replace the use of urea slowly so nano urea ke taraf shift ki ja rahi hai and this will also help for increasing the fertility of the soil so if it is being asked in mains examination तो आप स्विफ्ट की जब बात करें तो नैनो यूरिया के बारे में जरूर बताएं। द कंट्री हैज इनफ स्टॉक फॉर द फर्टिलाइजर्स फॉर द सीजन एंड रिपोर्ट्स अबाउट द फार्मर क्विंग फॉर बाइंग एंड अदर प्रपोर्शंस ऑफ इट राइट एंड द सेंटर हैज सेड दैट द मूव विल हेल्प द फार्मर इवन इट विल हेल्प द फार्मर टू रिड्यूस द डिपेंडेंसी ऑन द फर्टिलाइजर्स एंड दिस विल इनेबल द स्मूथ एवेबिलिटी ऑफ ऑल फर्टिलाइजर्स इवन द फार्मर ड्यूरिंग द रबी क्रॉप दैट इज फॉर ट्वेंटी एंड अफोर्डेबल प्राइस टू सपोर्ट द सेक्टर जो खास करके फास्फोरस नाइट्रोजन जैसी जो फास्फोरस हैं फर्टिलाइजर्स हैं उनके बारे में भी गवर्नमेंट ने खासा ध्यान दिया सो दैट द अफोर्डेबिलिटी हैज़ टू इंक्रीज सो दैट द फार्मर कैन यूज इट एंड इवन द प्रोडक्शन लेवल हैज़ टू मीट द टारगेट न मूविंग टू द अदर न्यूज इंडिया यू के एफ टी ए विल टाइटन द रूल ऑन जेनरिक ट्रैक दिस इज समथिंग इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर जनरल स्टडीज पेपर टू अंडर द सब टॉपिक बायोलेट्रल रीजनल ग्रुपिंग एंड एग्रीमेंट इन्वॉल्विंग इंडिया इन अफेक्टिंग इंडियाज इंटरेस्ट so according to the finding by the doctors writer borders this is known as medicine sense frontiers or msf inhone kuch astonishing facts laaye hain basically a study leak ki gayi hai uske bare mein uske alave aur kuch basically us studies ke mukable jo doctors without borders hai they have come up with a conclusion and they said that the proposals on the intellectual property rights in india's draft in india uk free trade agreement will help the supply of generic medicine this is what the doctor without borders has quoted in its finding right and just to tell you agar india or uk ki baat kare basically in terms of fta it has been long delay because jo fta honi thi which was scheduled for the month of october by diwali which has not yet been completed because of the shuffle taking place in the britain camp in a press note the organization said that the intellectual property chapters from the india uk fta contain some harmful intellectual property provisions now what is ip related uh, issues jo ki is leaked chapter mein batayi gayi hai according to the draft intellectual property related chapter which was leaked recently has shows that the uk is seeking continuous extension of patent jo uk ki jo jitni bhi manufacturers hain wo continuous patent ki extension chahte hain through a small tweaks in the drug agar aap kisi bhi tarah ke drug mein koi innovations karte hain then that particular drug will be an intellectual and uh, that will be under the intellectual property related issues so that is the reason it was highlighted 
इन द चैप्टर दैट आर स्मॉल ट्विक और स्मॉल चेंजेस करके खास करके एवर ग्रीनिंग जो पेटेंट की बात की जाती है दिस इज अ कॉन्सेप्ट दैट हैज इमर्ज इट इज नोन एज एवर ग्रीनिंग यू के इज लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड फॉर सच एक्टिविटी Now this may prevent the patent from expiring और ऐसा करने से उनकी patent expire नहीं होगी even imparting cheaper drugs capability and its productions by Indian generic drugs manufacturers. The draft has also proposed to prohibit pre-grant oppositions which means that India will not be able to stop the challenges to tweak invalid patents until and after which has been granted. Now TRIPS की जो agreement है उसके कुछ basics आपको पता होने चाहिए what is the TRIPS agreement? TRIP is basically uh, setting a minimum standard agreement which allow the members to provide more extensive productions of intellectual property if they wish to and members so left with the free trade or even agar baat kare khas karke trips ke andar members are left to free to determine the appropriate methodology for implementing the provision of this agreement right and this provision of the agreement on the legal system and practices right Now, going beyond the provisions of the TRIP agreement, may require India to challenge the IP and drugs approval, which may lead to the monopoly in medicine and even threaten the production, supply, and export at affordable price. Doctors Without Borders has called that the UK and Indian government is trying to remove the proposals from the UK-India free trade. So, उन्होंने suggestions दी हैं कि इंडिया की जो FTA में negotiation होनी है उससे ये जो इश्यूज हैं उसको हटाने की जरूरत है सो दैट द ड्रग्स एंड मेडिसिन पार्ट इन द एफ टी ए शुड नॉट बी कंटिन्यू एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट इंडियाज रोड मैप वॉट गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इज लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड विद सो द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया हैज बिन सीकिंग टू मेक द एग्जिस्टिंग पैटेंट रिजीम सॉफ्टवेयर इन ऑर्डर टू मेक द ड्रग एंड वैक्सीन मैनुफैक्चरिंग मोर एक्सेबल एंड द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ वैक्सीन एंड ड्रग शुड इंक्रीज इंडिया इज ऑल द वर्ल्ड लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ ड्रग्स एंड वैक्सीन इन द वर्ल्ड and india is now facing the pressures of trip plus patent law and with this fta that is free trade agreement with specifically the uk india and uk failed to conduct the negotiation that was proposed by the fta and this was set by october and by deepavali it was set but due to political unwill in united kingdom abhi aapne dekha hoga wahan pe nayi government aayi hai us wajah se kafi zyada reshuffling hui hai and the, this is not uh, like working the both side have claimed to have conducted 16 Out of 25 chapters on the key issues and including the demand of liberalisation, migration policies, UK demand low tariff on whiskies and automobiles, and opening up India's legal architecture and financial services are yet to be concluded. Moving to the other news, that is curious collage shows rhino horn are shrinking, something important for general studies paper three under the subtopic that is conservation, environmental pollutions, degradation, and EI. and according to the study that was conducted by the british ecological society it was found that the horns of rhinoceros may have become smaller over the time from the impact of hunting this is what the study has concluded and the conclusion was made after analyzing the artwork and photograph that maintained by the netherland based rhino research center of animal spanning more than 5 centuries तो ऑलमोस्ट थ्री थाउजेंड वन फिफ्टी एट इमेजेस क्लिक किए गए उनको एसेस की गई एंड दिस असेसमेंट हैज प्रोवाइडेड अ कंक्लूजन दैट द ह्यूमन इंटरेक्शन विद एनिमल इज ओवर द फाइव हंड्रेड ईयर्स एंड देव आइडेंटिफाइड एटी इमेजेस ऑफ ऑल द फाइव रेनोस टू एनालाइज द चेंजेस इन द हॉर्न लेंथ ओवर द टाइम एंड एक्सट्रैक्टिंग द मॉर्फोलॉजिकल डेटा फ्रॉम द फोटोग्राफ द स्टडी पब्लिश्ड इन द लेटेस्ट एडिशन ऑफ द पीपल एंड नेचर बाय द ब्रिटिस्ट दिस वॉज देयर बाय british ecological society so this were some of the official images of the rhinoceros that was released now talking about the finding basically i want to show you in this image you can see how the horn are basically the report that is there it is shortening compared to the other now finding of the study the evidence of the declining horn length over the time across the species perhaps related to the selective pressures of hunting indicating the utility of image based approaches in understanding the societal perception of large vertebrates and their trait evolutions now the rhinos have been also long hunted for their horns and the five surviving rhino species are threatened by the habitat loss in hunting the study found that the rate and decline of the horn length is the highest in critically endangered specifically in the sumatra rhinos low in the white rhino of africa most commonly found in the wild scape the observation found that the pattern this was the pattern that was seen in the other animal and even the tusk size ki agar baat kare in elephant and horn length is like the wild sheep 
have been driving slowly by the directional section due to the trofo hunting now moving to the editorial of the day don't turn back the clock something important for journal studies paper 2 under the sub topic that is government policies and intervention for the development of various sectors and issues arising from a design and implementations so what i'm going to discuss under this editorial talking about the theme first that is the draft indian communications bill ke bare mein baat ki gayi hai first we'll see the background and aim of this bill objective of the draft bill and the way ahead so recently the department of telecommunications has released draft india telecommunication bill 2022 and the bill aims to regulate the internet based ott that is over the top telecom services and this has triggered to reimagine and reshape the digital architecture while creating the possibilities for the startup ecosystem the draft bill together uh, basically come up with the regulations of telecom operators over the top services provider and internet based community system under one roof aim of the bill ki agar baat kare do the draft bill the government prioritize the policy objectives first is to improve the ease of doing business in digital ecosystem second call for promoting the innovations third incentivizing the investment that has to be achieved now while monetizing the law government ne koshish ki that they are moving fast with terms of technology with all other developed countries and it is imperative to reflect the contemporary times jis tarah se technology upgrade ho rahi hai india ko apne laws ko bhi upgrade karne ki zarurat hai the new age legal framework must strengthen the digital market adding the economic growth and development now objective of draft bill ki agar baat kare this draft bill seeks to consolidate and amend the law governing the tsp that is telecom service provider and it extend the boundaries with all encompassing definitions with the telecommunication services broad enough to include the ott and internet based communication system within the regulatory regime so it will be under one umbrella that each regulation will be there in india so by extending the license of ott communication jahan pe licensing introduce ki gayi hai this will make once again it a license centric now we had ki baat kare uh, moreover the inclusions of ott over the top services even the under the regulatory regime of the tsp will be tested with the touchstone of the principle that is inside under the article 14 of the indian constitution which call for unequal cannot be treated with equal a merger of special services under one regulatory regime could offer a doctrine of equality and translating the visions of 5 trillion economy into the reality requires a regulatory framework that offers stability predictability and legal certainty so this is how things actually work and this regulation in india is something which is inspired with all the global rules and law that is envisaged so india ke context mein kafi zyada relevant Now moving ahead with the MCQ questions of the day. Before I proceed, just to tell you the answers of yesterday's questions. For first question, the correct option is C. For second question, also the correct option is C. Today's MCQ for practice. आपको बताना है corruption perception index के बारे में. This is released by the Corruption Eradication Commission. In India, rank has slipped with position 86 among 180 countries. So do check it out for the correct option. Second question of the day. Tree status. जो tree city की status किस सिटी को दी गई इंडिया में इंदौर बैंगलोर हैदराबाद और बेंगलुरु बेसिकली न्यू दिल्ली सो यू हैव टू चूज फॉर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन एंड डू चेक इट आउट दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन कैन बी अ सप्लीमेंट्री क्वेश्चंस विद एनी अदर क्वेश्चन स्टेटमेंट बेस्ड भी हो सकते हैं सवाल आपके सो दिस वाज ऑल अबाउट फॉर द डेली न्यूज एंड एडिटोरियल एनालिसिस फॉलोड बाय द एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चंस इफ यू हैव एनी अदर कंसर्न यू कैन लेट मी नो आई विल बी मोर देन हैप्पी टू असिस्ट यू फॉर टाइम बीइंग आई एम साइनिंग ऑफ थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो